dive on its future. Um, a few months ago, Apple released the Apple AirTag, a very affordable tracker, which is super useful within the Apple ecosystem. You can find your stuff, you can find anything like your keys or anything you attach this to in the Find My app, which is available on iPhones and iPads and on macOS. But as we know by now, the Apple AirTag isn't compatible with Android. Uh, you can't track any AirTag with Android. You can't uh, see where your keys are. You can't find your keys throughout the living room. No, that is all within the Apple ecosystem, which is understandable. I mean, Samsung has their own stuff as well, the Samsung Smart Tag Plus, which I'll get my hands on in the future, I hope. Um, but for now, this here is really just an Apple thing. Now, trackers aren't really a new thing this year. Uh, they already existed before, like Tile that makes all kinds of trackers. Uh, but now that Apple brought them out, uh, it's if some people have a certain concern regarding to safety. Imagine you're walking around, you open your backpack and suddenly you notice an air tag in your bag and you, without you knowing it. Now, if you have an iPhone, you do get a notification after a while that there is a tracker currently tracking you. But if you have an Android device, how would you know it then? So um, one of the things is after a while, the air tag itself will start sounding. And I've already noticed before, I, I walk out without any Apple device, just this, and an air tag that was still in my backpack, my own, air tag it just suddenly started to make a sound there it is which is very good because then i know oh okay i still have the air tag in my bag um so that's a good thing but what if you just preventively just want to search for your trackers so a few months ago back in summer apple announced that they will make an android app that will allow users android users to detect air tags that might be following them and it's December 15 today, but it was already announced or released two days ago. Apple released the app called Tracker Detect on the Google Play Store. And if you look over here, this is the Google Play Store. Apple has more than just this app. They also have uh, the Move to iOS app, of course, uh, Beats Apple Music, which is actually a good app, honestly, or at least it does work well on my Z Flip 3. Apple TV for uh, Chromecast devices, and we have Tracker Detect. And this here is a new addition to Apple's presence in the Google Play Store. Now, Apple describes this app as the following. Tracker Detect looks for items that are separated from their owner and that are compatible with Apple's Find My network. These item trackers include AirTag and compatible devices from other companies. If you think someone is using AirTag or another device to track your location, you can scan to try to find it. Okay, so it's now available on the Play Store. I'll link it down below in the description and let's try it out over here. Okay, so over here I have my AirTag and I can just open Tracker Detect and you'll see here Tracker Detect looks for item trackers. So this is the exact same description as on the Google Play Store. Scan, it's now scanning. Remember you have to keep Bluetooth on while scanning, which is logical. Now sometimes it takes long and sometimes it doesn't. Here we go. Unknown air tag first seen just now. So I can tap on this and this is what I see right now. So it's an unknown air tag. So un unlike on um, Apple devices, you don't see the name of the air tag itself. So uh, you just see yeah, unknown air tag and you can play a sound. So this thing will start, will start ringing in a second. Now for me personally, it doesn't work. I'm not sure if it's the app that has a bug or if it's the air tag itself, although it clearly does get detected. So um, anyway, that might be something else. Still, if ever it's a bug, I'm sure Apple will fix it here on the Google Play Store. Uh, but this is the purpose. So just scan to see if you have one detected and play a sound. And then um, that's about it. Now you can learn more about this item tracker. So let me just tra uh, tap here. And then we give instructions to uh, scan your AirTag by hitting this to the NFC chip in your phone. Now, good to know here is that they're using um, a good looking Android device in this animation. So what I'll do now is I'll just tap it here at the bottom of my Z Flip. So what this, what's displaying now is the serial number, which of course I had to blur out, and the last few digits of the telephone number of the owner. And that is it. Now, of course, this is an AirTag that is not in lost mode. So that is, this is all you can see. Normally, if it's in lost mode, you can see uh, a message from the owner and maybe the owner put his phone number there or email address. Currently this is not in lost mode and again if someone's tracking you the person won't be putting it in lost mode of course. So this is what you can see and the only thing that Apple right now is recommending is to disable the AirTag. Let me tap over here. 
and there we go so disable air tag again the serial number is 100 push down and twist counterclockwise on the back of the air tag take the cover off and remove the battery so in other words just remove the battery so it will disable the air tag and it also mentions if you feel your safety is at risk contact your local law enforcement you may need to provide this air tag and the serial number for the air tag okay so that is it if i hit done then i can also tap here to to um, disable but oh, it would just bring me to the same information okay look here it is even an animation showing you how to disable the item tracker. Now, personally, as someone who uses all kinds of ecosystems, it would have been great if the Find My App would come to Android, but of course I do understand uh, from Apple's standpoint that this isn't really the, the purpose or not something that is in their timeline or in their plans, uh, but that would have been great, personally. Or at least let uh, Apple users track their AirTag through iCloud. That would be cool as well, that I could just see where my keys are or, um, I don't know, if I lost my backpack or something else and my AirTag is in it, that I can check it through my Android phone, that I don't need to take my iPad just to check it uh, through to find my app. Uh, so that is something that you never know, might come still to iCloud beta in the future, but uh, I'm not really sure about that either. Now let's just look at some information about this app. If I long press here on Android, I can just press I to give me the information over here and the settings. It'd be cool if this would also be possible on iOS, honestly. So um, which permissions does it actually ask for, which is important. It just asks for your location and that's it. It's probably to, um, yeah, so it can show you all of, of the air tags that are nearby. That's probably the reason in combination probably with Bluetooth. 26 megabytes on internal storage in my case over here. So what do you think of the Tracker Detect app? Do you find it useful or are there certain features that are still missing according to you? Or would you like to see other apps from Apple come to Android? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.